What's going on guys? Asian guy here. It is very very hot in the UK right now. I am sweating as you guys can see and not because of the wonderful artworks to this side of me. Very very tasty fan service going on there. We have got the Reverie batch that has just come out as we time travel forward on the Japan server of One Piece Treasure Cruise. For those of you who don't know how to time travel, all you got to do is change your device settings and you change your time and date and then move forward into the future and then you'll be able to see this Sugo FS banner. You will not, however, be able to pull on this banner. I always get questions of how does he have the Sugo FS and I don't have the Sugo FS. It's just a very simple trick like that. You will get an error if you try to pull, so don't try to pull just yet. This Sugo FS will be starting on the 28th of June which is just tomorrow as well and my oh my first of all again splendid splendid artwork superb artwork fan service galore and most of all that makes me happy is cerebrals are back on top they are by far the best class in the game now hands down i don't think it's even no competition these guys are the best Utility units, they have amazing boosts still. In fact, they were like the first class to get a bunch of amazing boosts. And these units, oof, man, they buff them up even more. We do have a solid captain now, which is what Cerebral was missing in the past. But we now have Sabo and Koala Dual Legends. So let's begin with the number one unit here. We've got Shirahoshi and Mancherry Dual Unit. If we click on the info button there, you'll be able to see the artwork. You'll be able to see the full limit break, max specials as well which comes down to 16 turns and you can see the stats there. So on the far, oopsie daisy, on the, sorry, I dropped my phone there. I have my phone here right now, as you guys can see on the screen. On the very far left of your screen, you will be able to see all the information there. Heals, five times recovery at the end of the, each turn. Boost attack of Cerebral, Free Spirit and Striker units, I've got a little typo there, beg your pardon there, by 3.5 times and prevents defeat if HP is above 50%. Now, this is, the dual captain only. If we look specifically at the individual captains, it's not as fancy as that because that dual captain, the prevents defeat whole mechanic there is absolutely amazing. If that was one of the singular captains, that would be so, 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 so overpowered. So, what Shirahoshi is going to do, I believe this is Shirahoshi's side, yes it is, she's in. At the end of the turn, we heal five times her own recovery, that is absolutely A-OK. -okay. All units, other than herself, Cerebral, Free Spirit and Striker types will have their attack boosted by 3 times and her own attack will be boosted by only 1.2 times. So relatively similar to the original Shirahoshi. And then if we switch over to Mancherry, Mancherry will also heal times 5 her recovery at the end of the turn and she will boost the attack of Cerebral, Free Spirit and Striker units by 2.75 times. So not the strongest of captain abilities there. The dual captain is superb, don't get me wrong. I can see them clearing many, many difficult pieces of content, especially the prevent death mechanic is so, so, so good. And they have inherent healing, which makes your life so much easier. But obviously, you're most likely going to be using, for example, Sabo and Koala, which has much higher damage output as your captain. But having said that, the latest Colosseum, which is going to be Colosseum Jinbei, does look to be incredibly tedious and designed very heavily for this batch. If you don't have this batch, it, it's probably going to be a struggle. I, I won't lie to you, because look at these specials, guys. Her special or their special will remove 10 turns of any two debuff icons inflicted onto your team. By debuff icons, I mean it can't be, for example, a paralysis or an orb seal or a ship seal on any specific unit or any specific ship because that's not an icon that's debuffed onto you. But any whole team debuffs that you have or any debuffs that just affect your team which comes up as an icon, any two of those, you can remove 10 turns. And it doesn't have to be separate, it can be technically 20 turns of one debuff. That is nuts! That is actually bananas bonkers, I don't know how to explain it. That's, that's just ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous. This unit is utility-wise insane. Also a free spirit typing as well. Beg your pardon, I forgot to mention that at the beginning. Cerebrals and free spirits, the best classes in the game right now. Absolutely insane units going on right now. But she will also heal 100 times recovery and change all orbs, including block orbs, into matching orbs. Now this is not as good as the original Shirahoshi, which would do all orbs into rainbow orbs, but but there is a twist to it. The removal effect cannot be interrupted and of course they will become a dual unit. So their swap ability, what happens with their swap ability is will reduce one turn of slot bind and silence, which is, I believe that's one turn, let me check if that is one turn of slot, slot bind. 
That's one turn off slot bind and silence to the entire crew, which is superb. And she will change her own slot into, or their own slot into a rainbow orb. And also, if you have any matching orbs, into rainbow orbs as well. Now, that's the gimmick here where you, you, you basically switch with one or use a special of one, you get a full board of matching orbs and then you switch with the other one and then you have a full board of rainbow orbs. Having said that, again, you're probably not really going to be looking to run these units as a captain most of the time. So the synergy between the swap ability and the special ability most of the time is probably not going to be there. But when you do have matching orbs, it's going to be absolutely insane. Now, the thing here that I'm curious about is will beneficial orbs count as matching orbs? Because if that's the case, this swap ability is absolutely busted. But it does say matching orbs. It doesn't say beneficial orbs. It doesn't say anything about beneficial orbs. So if it did affect beneficial orbs it would be amazing but if it doesn't i still think it's pretty damn solid as long as you have a high rate of matching orbs now the other thing i wanted to point out as well is this part of the special where she changes all orbs into matching can still be interrupted so it's also worth no noting once you activate this special and you remove x or y debuffs off your team and then the orbs switch if the enemy has an interrupt for all manipulation, you're just going to get a bunch of extra debuffs on top of it as well. So this isn't like the be all end all of utility specials where you can remove anything you want because this still doesn't counter, I would say, enemy interrupts that amazingly. But if we have double captains, that's where things get a little bit interesting because if you do have that, you can use this special twice. And what would happen is you remove the first set of debuffs then you're going to be hit with an interrupt because you did an orb shuffle and then you switch your other captain around you have now have a full board of rainbow orbs and then you get to use your special again you heal up a bunch maybe the orb interrupt the orb shuffle interrupt was a hp cut you heal that up or it's another 20 turns of debuffs or something else and the other captain will remove that as well and you have rainbow orbs so those can't be shuffled and your own your own orb shuffle from the first shirahoshi will basically be nullified Having said that, you know, you're using two spaces for that and if content really demands that, I'm not going to be too pleased. If the content that is coming, Colosseum Jinbei, requires you to have double Shirahoshi captains because of that situation and scenario I just mentioned, that's not cool. That is not cool, Bandai. We are going into very pay-to-win heavy game modes recently. Kizuna Kessen, very pay-to-win heavy. I didn't even finish it properly. I finished Perispero. I did finish the dual units, but I didn't even clear the final stage of reset, so... There's that, I got to like level 30-ish, level 40-ish, but that's a little bit of a little bit of a gripe I have there. Let's move on to Vivi and Rebecca, who are also absolutely bonkers. They're absolutely amazing as well. And you know, bazongas as well. You know, you've got a bunch of bazongas going on here. So their dual captain ability will boost the attack of all units. They are fully rainbow captain by 1.75 times and color affinity by two times. So a pretty juicy captain ability there. In orbs are made beneficial and boost HP by 1.2 times. Now let's take a look at their singular captain abilities. Boost the attack of the crew by 1.75 times. Color affinity by 1.75 times. Boost HP by 1.2 times. And the crew will treat Psy orbs as beneficial and reduce damage taken by 20%. That's interesting. That is the deck side, which is Vivi. Now we have Rebecca. Rebecca will boost attack of crew by 1.75 times, boost color affinity by 2 times, and HP by 1.2 times. And she will also boost, uh, she will make in orbs count as beneficial. Now, my duo, duo captain there must be wrong then. And let me just double check that. It is indeed wrong. The dual captain, what I have there as the duo captain is actually Rebecca's captain. The dual units captain will, in fact, you know what? Let me type this up because uh, it's, it's going to confuse a bunch of people. They will boost the attack of all units by 1.75 times. So that part was still the same. Color affinity by 2.5 times HP by 1.2 times and the crew how professional is this video guys and the crew will treat Psy and in orbs as beneficial that's not going to fit on that line there 
and reduce damage taken by 20%. Okay, apparently that's not going to fit properly there as well. But there you have it. That is a pretty solid captain there. Rebecca's captain is pretty solid as is Vivi. I'm sweating. So look at this. Look at the sweat, guys. Look at my hair. And it's not because of the artwork. I promise you guys, it's really hot in here. I mean, looking at the artwork makes the room, the temperature go up. But bazongas galore, the special. Here we go. Removes defense up and percent damage reduction. Two of the most common buffs the enemy has. Completely. Completely. If you get the Clackman memes, you get them. Completely removes them, defense up and percent damage reduction. That is ridiculously good. It's so, so, so good. And guess what? They're a cerebral unit. They're a cerebral unit. Why am I not surprised? For two turns, boost color affinity your cerebral and strike units by two times and become VV and Rebecca. These units are insane. These two new legends, absolutely insane. I think, you know, it's fair to say most of the best subs in the game are cerebral units. You got the legend cerebrals coming through here, two batches of them or two dual units of them, very good. And you've of course got six plus Corazon, V2 Rayleigh, you've got six plus Nami. Amazing, amazing, amazing utility. I'll just bash my hand on my desk and it hurts. But that's just how excited I am. This is such a good batch. It's such a good batch. I'm a sucker for stuff that is OP. You guys know this. I love Carrot, she's OP. If you're pulling for her on global, good luck guys. Really, really good batch to pull for by the way. And I think this is actually a, just these two legends paired up together makes this batch entirely worth pulling for. Having said that, I'm going to try and resist, but let's go into the Sailors. So the Sailor ability will make Cerebral and Strikers treat quick orbs as beneficial orbs, and we'll also have some stat boosts to Cerebral and Strike units. The Swap ability, now this is a pretty juicy one as well, will change Cerebral and Strike units strength and dex orbs to matching. Very, very nice. Heals 2000 HP at the end of the turn. This is actually very good for a V2 Katakuri team. And in fact, that's actually a, her special, just as a sub in general, just that utility there. Percent damage reduction defense up is a buff that is very annoying to V2 Katakuri. And to top it off, having that 2000 HP heal at the end of the turn is also very nice for V2 Katakuri. And of course, chain multiplier lock to 2.5 times for one turn is also just incredibly, incredibly solid. And she's got a bunch or the, I, keep, I keep saying she, but they, they have got a bunch of very, very, very good limit breaks here as well. So reduces, no healing, reduces, or that's pinch healing, and you've also got enrage as well. Plus 200 attack on the enrage there. So that is also very, very tasty. I'm looking down here because of some other information down here, but let's move on to Kobe. I'm sorry guys, this is just such a good batch. I'm so happy we're finally moving into Reverie and then Wano. I cannot wait. If you're a manga reader, you know absolutely why Wano is so hyped. Cannot wait for the Wano batches. Reverie batches are hype as well, so all in all, very exciting stuff for OPTC. Kobe's captain ability, this is great artwork by the way, I actually love this. Kobe will boost attack of cerebral units by 2.75 times. His special will reduce 5 turns of despair and paralysis, and for 3 turns, he will 9 times the recovery at the end of the turn. Nothing too special there. If HP is above 50% when the special is used, however, nullify quick and dex damage completely for 1 turn. Now, this has its uses here and there, not bad at all, but if you really want damage nullification, then you can always use Legend Robin as well. But if you don't have Legend Robin, this is also a very solid alternative. There you go. As well as that, his Sailor ability will reduce blindness for 10 turns, which is very nice. And his second Sailor ability will make strength orbs count as beneficial for cerebral units. So we have got another superb cerebral sub coming through here in Kobe. All in all, I want to pull him. I like Kobe. I want to pull him. Let's move over to Viola. So Viola, her captain ability will boost attack of cerebral units by 2.5 times. The HP and recovery by 1.2 times. Nothing special there. Her special, however, my wording is terrible. Her special, however, changes own orb and adjacent orb, so four guaranteed orbs as matching, but block unfortunately not included, which is a shame. For one turn, boost attack of cerebral units by 1.75 times, and HP is above 50% by two times instead. Now this, very, very, very solid special. 12 turn cooldown, which is also very nice. If you go into info, you can actually see that it's a 12 turn cooldown, so that's very nice in itself plus 40 attack and recovery to cerebral units and reduce one turn of paralysis on crew as a sailor ability, which is the same as the other Viola, the quick dress Rosa V2 batch one. So that's also very nice. And a support ability is a 6% attack to cerebral units, which is very, very nice 
as well. I believe Kobe's support ability isn't that great. HP and recovery, 12% of HP and recovery goes onto the support character. And you've got uh, King Riku, or Ricky, Viola, Kuros, Elizabello there. Nothing too special. Not a very good support ability, whereas Viola is completely for all cerebral units. So that is very nice. Let's move on to Jewelry Bonnie, who is a lot of people's wife, who's not mine personally, but I can understand why. Jewelry Bonnie. She is the only non cerebral unit in this batch. Not too surprised, I don't think she's the smartest, although, you know, she's been tricky, she's been cunning, so maybe she is smart, but I wouldn't say she's like the, the academic smart, which is what we have with the cerebral units most of the time. But discussing what makes your cerebral unit aside, free spirit and fight to attack 2.75 times when HP is above 50%, otherwise 2.5 times boost, nothing special there. And her special ability will reduce 7 turns of bind on any character of your choice up to 3 times. Which is translated by someone on Reddit. So I'm just going to double check that. Yeah, so you can select 3 times 7 turns. So up to 21 turns of bind reduction. Which is superb on any units of your choice. Which in my opinion is superb because a lot of the time we are getting either specifically captain binds. Or we're getting specific unit binds for over 20 turns. I can see this being very, very, very useful. So I love this special. Very, very good. And for two turns, this part's a bit weird. For two turns, boost orbs of bottom row units by 2.25 times. Now this is a universal special. So it's a universal 2.25 times orb boost. Which is... Cool-ish. I think this is a special that you're most likely going to be using on a mini boss stage. So... You never know, maybe in the future guys we'll have a captain that boosts the attack, the top row and the middle row and the bottom row of units by different attack boosts. I actually think that would be quite cool. Let me know what you think about that. Imagine a, a captain ability where like the bottom row is boosted by five times, the middle row is boosted by like three times and then the top row is boosted by like one times. So I think that would be pretty cool. I mean we already have Shirohoshi who boosts herself by only 1.25 times and everybody else by three times. That's technically the top row and the rest of the crew is a different boost. So I think that would be quite interesting. Sailor ability one, 50 attack boost to free spirit and fight units. Sailor ability two, free spirit and fight will treat recovery as beneficial orbs. They're decent sailor abilities there. Second one is decent there. The support ability though, which is superb, unfortunately only works for Bartholomew. It's not Bartholomew. Bartholomew Kuma, but it's a very, very good ability. Once during an adventure, so the first time you get inflicted with bind, which is a downfall of it in my opinion. When your crew is binded, reduce five turns of bind on your attack turn. So how this works, for the people who don't know how these support abilities work, is if you get hit by any form of bind, whether this is like a preemptive from a mob, so it can even be stage one, stage two, stage three, as soon as that their preemptive turn ends, then this support ability will activate and reduce five turns of bind. And in many cases, you'll see this missing. And when I say missing, it's because it activates after your sockets have already come through and your sockets have already reduced that bind. And if your sockets have already done that, then there's nothing to reduce, right? So it just goes and misses. All in all though, I can see that having very, very useful uses there. Very useful uses there. I'm so bad at wording stuff, guys, but I'm just so much adrenaline because I'm really hyped for this batch. It's been a while since I've been super, super, super hyped for a batch. I love Cerebral units, guys. I really love Cerebral units and I really want Sabo and Koala. I do not have them, but it just makes me more excited for one day, hopefully one day, when I do pull them. As I'm talking as if I'm the Sugo Fest King, wink wink. But uh, I'm assuming that I'm going to pull them one day because I do well on the game. If I have this batch with them, it's like, you know, I, I just feel like they'll be unstoppable. I genuinely feel like these units will be unstoppable because they're the utility, the debuff removals, the enemy buff removals, they're all there. And I'm loving it. I love how units are now able to just flat out remove enemy buffs. So we got several units that I'd say maybe like six or seven in the game where they can specifically target an enemy's buff and remove it completely, even if it's 99 plus turn. And I love units like that because it's OP. It's OP, no, most of the time you can't remove buffs like that or the unit isn't very good. But these units we've got here, very, very, very good. I believe Jinbei, Colosseum Jinbei, I'm just gonna read this to you off the One Piece Treasure Cruise Discord. His special ability for two turns plus 0.5 times, or plus 0.5 to the chain, not plus 0.5 times. 
plus 0.5 to the chain and cut damage over 3000 from each enemy by a very large amount so this is like a threshold damage reduction like raid bartos when the captain is a fight or cerebral character completely remove damage threshold cut on enemies so with this jimbei and also with rebecca and vivi you can completely remove enemies defensive buffs which is absurd that's so 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 good i cannot wait to see people using them in action hopefully if i am lucky i get sabo and koala i get the full batch and one multiple we all know it's not going to happen you know what i'm going to be pulling on the sugo fest i'm just very very excited for this batch i am the cerebral bum boy that's what i am Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. This is some mega, mega hype units. I know the characters aren't necessarily the hypest for a lot of people. If they're your waifu, congratulations. If you're not a big fan of them, commiserations. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Good luck if you're on Global for the Carrot Sugo Fest. And good luck if you're pulling on this Sugo Fest on Japan, guys. I'm sweating so much. I am high on the heat. That sounds really, really wrong. But thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Remember! to hashtag Danka Bandai with a bellissimo and have a wonderful wonderful day and if you have air conditioning enjoy it because I am I am melting bye 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 voice crack <laughs>